look stupid, so you don't have to. And today we are working on the Mark 7 Golf GTI, and we are installing a CTS catted downpipe. Now you may be wondering, Kyle, why didn't you go catless? And that's because I am a great steward of this earth. So, we're going high flow cat with this bad boy, and we are going to start installing it now. So the first thing you want to do is locate your O2 sensor, which is plugged in right here. That we are going to disconnect from this lovely thing Volkswagen has done here. And disconnect it on the plug over here. <clears throat> yeah. I suppose that just slides out like so. Yeah, all right. First thing out of the way, beautiful. Next thing we're gonna do is get the uh, V-band off up here, which I believe is a six millimeter Allen. So we're gonna tack that V-band without an extension. Do loosey righty tidy. Get a pry bar underneath this bad boy. V bands. They tend to get kind of stuck on here, so I'm just gonna try to wedge it off just like that. That went way smoother than expected. Get it the rest of the way off and just slide it over the pipe. Well, maybe we'll try to put it on the turbo side. Just like that, because we'll need it when we get that high flow CTS pipe up here. Oh, yes, we will. Oh, it's not gonna fit there either, so. Scrooge that idea. We'll let her fly. Now we'll go underneath the car. I was hoping this would be on uh, the 13 facing down. It's facing up? It's facing up, Dan. Can you loosen it with a uh, hand? Oh, I, need the, I need the hand one. All right, so this uh, clamp here has two 13 millimeter nuts on the back side of these carriage bolts. Gotta get those guys off. I was really hoping I could use an impact on them. Can you get some sort of rotation on them? This other one I'm gonna need a deep 13. That looks like that's loose now. Now I could have done this first probably. Put that. We're gonna take this cross brace off. Protect your ears, youngins. More 13s. Then we'll get this dump pipe bracket out of here. Now, there might be a little more bolts somewhere holding the dump pipe on. So, this is on the, you want to just back away and then come in. On the uh, passenger side. On the dump pipe, it's a mounting bracket. I might see if I can reset from from the bottom. From the bottom. No way to get an angle on I'm reaching in front of the right control arm. It's got to like key off of it, I think. So you got to push it towards the back of the car. I wonder if there's another one. There goes a bolt for the off. Uh, wait. So I struggled for about 10 minutes and Dan comes down here for 10 seconds and just pulled it right out. So time to put the new one in. So now we're gonna transfer our O2 sensor on in here. We already have a UM tune so we don't need to worry about Getting the second engine light. We ended up using a breaker bar on the O2 with the adapter to get it off. You'd hope this wouldn't be. I'm gonna put a little anti seize on the threads. Hopefully, it'll make our job easier if we ever need to take this bad boy out again. Alright, now we gotta fish that back in. Well, maybe transfer this. <coughs> Mounting bracket. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Sharp stuff. So with a little deductive reasoning, we figure this reads right side up. And so this is gonna sit in the car like that. These bolt, the bolts go onto the subframe like that. So this needs to sp slip on from this side. And to sneak, flip these on, you can spray a little WD-40 on the grommets. Or you can just push it on because that wasn't very difficult. Put the V-band on it. Yeah. Okay, we just pulled the wire for the O2 sensor back up through, connected back over here on the plug, and shoved the wire back in where it was so it's not touching anything. Uh, the V-band was the first thing we put on, and to hold it in place, just finger tight right now. Kyle's gonna tighten some stuff on the bottom. So we have our high flow cat. I'm believing <laughs> these relief cuts are going to slip into the downpipe. This reducer is going to slip onto the other end of the uh, cat, and then this will go to the rest of the exhaust. Clamp on this side. <clears throat> That's not. I'm wondering, we might have to disconnect the top where it mounts to the turbo and then sneak it up a little bit. <clears throat> well, you pulled, did you just pull the two, it was just nuts in the back, right? Yeah. I think the long ones go here. Well, once you get all the bolts back in place, check for exhaust leaks and if you're silly, you're still gonna send it. As always, thanks for watching. And tune in for more Miata, VW Golf, GTI, Audi RS3 content.